All right. Definitely. Yeah. We love our satellites too. Very mm -hmm. important to our satellites. They're doing all kinds of fun stuff. I don't know if Matt has water vapor imagery that he's going to show you, but that's uh, the nerd tool for a lot of meteorologists. Uh, we do have a lot to talk tool. about though. Let's get it over to Jay and Matt now. Thank you. Uh, the theme of this show has been sustainability, green. We had a, a little gift uh, idea there where how to give green gifts. And, you know, the NASA, the study yep. of climate change and all that. So that's your weather word today, green. Oh, I thought it was all that that you just said. No. I was getting a little, getting a little nervous. <laughs> theme of last show was butter. We're still talking about I that. I got to tell you, those butter boards, um, it's changed my life going forward. And apparently it's just butter. It's, it's all I need. But it's all the rage. Okay, lots to talk about. Let's get you through tonight and the weekend first. We've got the colder air in place. That big system that was spiraling all weekend brought this cold air in. This cold air is here to stay. We're not going to get warmer than this probably all the way through the rest of the year. So get used to this. We're in the 30s. This isn't unbearable. This is wintertime in Northeast Ohio. You combine the wind. We've got wind chill values for your Friday evening plans generally in the upper 20s. So a chilly evening. We had that snow on the models last couple days in the late evening, and here it comes, starting to blossom like a Christmas tree. Christmas trees don't blossom, but anyway, you can see uh, out towards the west, we're picking up some snow showers down towards the Mansfield area, up towards uh, even Ashland and Sandusky. This is all part of the same low pressure that continues to spin, but within this low, you get these little waves of energy that help to create lift in the atmosphere. So that's what we have coming through Indiana and Ohio is some decent lift. So this is our Friday evening into the overnight. Widespread snow showers expected as this moves in. Once it moves by, it'll ignite the lake effect machine. And that will be going tomorrow out over Lake Erie. And as a result, we've got winter storm watches out for areas of Erie County uh, over towards Erie PA and then Lakeshore Ashtabula. Notice Buffalo expected to get it. You notice the trajectory. This is off towards the north, but we'll have to keep an eye on this. This could be a pretty rough go of it and expected to start late tomorrow night. So Saturday nights when it really gets going all the way through Monday, I would not be surprised if down the road we add Lake County to this. So if you're close to I-90 and north, that's where the biggest impacts are expected, but we could even get some snow further south than that in northern Geauga County as well. So take a look at it. National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. Here are your snow shower activities tonight. There haven't been a lot in terms of accumulations off towards the west. Indiana got some decent accumulation from this, but we've lost that daytime heating as the sun goes down. So tonight we could develop some slick spots. It's a totally different ball game when it's nighttime. So keep that in mind. We may have some slick travel tomorrow morning and later on tonight as this moves through. That wave moves through. We lose much of the snow chance tomorrow. We'll have some scattered snow from time to time. Nothing organized, but watch what happens tomorrow evening. We start to develop some lake effect out over the lake. Perhaps another wave kicks off some snow shower area wide, but this is what we need to watch. Pretty organized band out over the lake that looks to sink southward Saturday night. So Sunday morning, look at this. Maybe we're bringing Cuyahoga, Northern Geauga and yes, Lake County into this. We could have some decent snow out of that. Sunday, it kind of reorganizes and then comes back at us Sunday night. So in terms of accumulations, again, this is going to fluctuate. A trace to maybe an inch or so down towards the south, not a lot, but you get up towards the lakeshore. Look at some of these numbers our models putting out. Six inches in the Menor area, perhaps. We'll keep an eye on this for sure, but I can foresee a very snowy Saturday night, Sunday morning out in the snow belt and ditto that into Monday morning. Let's talk about the cold. There's not a lot of green on the map. We've replaced it with the blues and the whites. We've got cold air in place. It gets colder up in Canada, but this is the real cold we're watching. Minus 57 in Siberia. This is about to unleash into, into areas near Alaska right now. And eventually that comes south, so much so that we have very likely below average temperatures, not just for us, but all the way down to the Gulf Coast through Christmas. If you want a warm Christmas, you got to go out west. Vegas looks good, San Francisco, L.A. We'll talk more about the storm this could spin up in the next half hour. Union Home Mortgage, seven day forecasts. There's your 30s over the course of the week. As of right now, with that next system, we're going rain to snow and wind and much colder with snow around here by Friday. Again, the detail sneals still need to be sorted out with that. Um, and we'll talk about that coming up in a little bit, guys. It's okay, Jay. I know. We're worried about Jay, Matt. I'm checking on tickets to Vegas. No, oh. you aren't. He doesn't want to be here. <laughs> no, he wanted to know how butter. far south he had to go to get away from it. And then he saw your map and he's going, oh, great, now i got to go out to L.A. <laughs> yeah. Not a cheap flight. Not a cheap All flight right. is right. Matt, thank you.